So now we've got these greeny hues that are on the front of the cafe, we can start to bring in some more of the blues that are down on these cobbles here. But to do that, we need to be able to balance this greeny blue that we've got. So I've introduced a red. This is a permanent alizarin crimson um, from Windsor and Newton, this is. And now we've got that, we can start to balance that blue so it's not too greeny. So I'm just mixing this to like a dull purpley hue. Dip a bit of water on it. And this can now just be washed in in the front of those cobbles. Get a touch more water. Just so you can start to judge the tone without going in too heavy to start with. I think when I start to see that next to the green, I feel like I can bring it a little bit readier. And I'm just kind of working that into the paint that's already wet underneath it. So it's a bit like a watercolory wash really. And as that starts to hit into the light, this area here in the middle, I just add a bit more white to it. You see how I pulled a bit of colour on there? That's just on my brush. You can see how it's got the blue on there. So I just wipe that on a bit of the paper towel. Give it a quick wash out, just so again, you've got um, a clean brush. Sometimes it's nice to have that mix between the colours onto the actual um, canvas that you're painting, but sometimes you just need that clean colour just to go over the top. Make sure you focus on these corners so you can get like a dark corner next to a light area. Just helps to send the viewer's eye in. Even lighter and a bit more of that purpley hue. And very watery this is because I've got the white underneath. Just wipe it over it and just rub a bit back. Now just dull down that intensity of the white but still have a nice bit of that colour shining through. Okay, that's great. Now I can start to introduce a yellow to create all these colours and start to introduce the green onto the tree. So 
What I've got here is a Naples yellow. This is a really lovely colour. In fact, for some of this yellow on the banner, I'm going to go straight in just with some of the pure Naples yellow. That's great. Now, these other areas where you've got like a yellowy down here, it's slightly more muted, and even this yellow pop down here is darkened down a bit. So what we can just start to do is either use some of this, the darker black that we've got here, that we've mixed between the blue and the brown, but you see how that pulls it very, very green. So if it's too green, we can just add a touch of and the red to it. That just gives that nice kind of neutrally tone. So what I'm just trying to do is imagine you know, the colours that are underneath the tree here, just on this band so that it can dry off and then we can paint the brighter greens on top. Because I know it's going to be getting greener on top, I'm going to forward to go a little bit warmer underneath it around here. It's just going to help to add that um, nice contrast between the greens and these warmer hues next to it. Again, just add a bit of water just to kind of blush that colour over the painting, just so you can start to judge how your hues are looking in the context of the whole painting. It's got a nice oranginess down here, but as it starts to come up to the rest of this building, it goes a bit, you know, a bit pinkier. So then I'll just add a bit more white, and a bit more of the red.
this building here is you know a little bit dull but still got a bit of that red in so just use a bit of the brown you know to knock him down going to touch more water just to increase that flow cool him down a bit more with a bit of the blue better. I can just see a few bits that I feel could have a bit thicker white on. Okay, great. So I'll just mix um, some green with the Naples yellow and the blue just to start to build up this tree. By using the palette knife, I'm keeping it quite scratchy and I'm purposely, I'm not going too flat because you'll just get a big solid lump of paint. I'm kind of holding it um, off a bit so that I get little touches of, of shapes, but other ones I can just kind of scrape back through. And because we've built up those colours underneath, you get these lovely little kind of happy accidents where you get a shape that's underneath, the window underneath, and then the leaves that are going to be on top of that. So you've got to be a bit confident with it and um, you know, just kind of go for it with the palette knife. When you're mixing with the Tharlow Blue though, just be careful that it doesn't go too green, too vivid. So what you can do is just add a touch of the Burnt Umber, we'll just tone it down slightly. And if it goes still too green, you can you know, add a touch of the uh, red next to it, which will just tone down that hue. Then by using the flat brush, any areas that you think are oh, just got a funny shape or a little bit too scratchy, you can just, you know, like solid up um, an area of the paint. Okay, great. Now we can start to bring some of the red onto the actual tabletops just to really make that red punch out. And then we can adjust any colours from there. This is Will Kemp from Will Kemp Art School.